This video is going to walk you through how to access and make use of the library of images and objects that come with the smart um, software. If you want to go outside the smart software and bring images in, you can always use the camera tool, which is explained in another video. If you want to use what exists inside the software, the first thing you need to do is access it. And to access it, you hit the picture frame tool on the left side. That brings up a library, and in that library are Let's see if we can get the full library. 5,236 pictures, 396 multimedia files. There are notebook files and pages, 934 backgrounds and themes. Um, so you have a, an extensive library. They call it the Gallery Essentials. And at the top, they're broken into folders. If you want to look in the um, history folder, you can hit that. And then um, you can see the history is broken up into smaller folders. And then inside those folders are other folders. So you can go and find things if you want to search through. If you want to search by term, uh, you can go to the top and you can type in, and let's say I'm looking for um, Washington. And then that brings up 10 related folders and 18 pictures. So if I go to the pictures, you can see that we have um, people named Washington. We have a flag. We have some things from geographical um, location, state of. We have um, Washington Cross, the Delaware, and so on. So you see there are some pictures there. There are some related folders. Um, and you can go then go inside those folders. Obviously, that's going to give you the maps again and famous Americans and so on. So you can search your way through, find what you want. When you do find what you want, you can bring it to the main screen just by clicking and dragging it. Once it's on the main screen, you can resize by grabbing the corner and make it part of your stage. If you have something that you want on your screen, but you don't want it to be moved, you can select the item and you can go to the drop down menu and you can go down to lock and you can lock it in place. Once that's done, if I click the arrow and go to the object, George is not going to go anywhere. He's now part of the background. His image is stuck to the page. This keeps kids from accidentally moving things that you do not want to be moved. A more typical example would be in a situation where you were looking for um, math. We'll say if I do grids, if anything comes up. If I do math grids, nothing comes up. Let's see if I do math backgrounds. Uh, let's, what if I do graph paper? Okay, so I get four backgrounds and themes. So there's what I was looking for. So let's say I want to take something in the um, paper backgrounds, pictures, sorry. So X, Y axis. Bring it onto the screen. And I'm going to have kids do some things with plotting points and drawing lines or something like that. The possibility to ex exist that they accidentally move this around, which would be a problem if I had points plotted on top of it. So what if I had a bunch of points like this and we're doing some different things, and then I had another student come up and, and move? A uh, problem. So to avoid that, you can pick the grid and you can lock it in place. That grid's not going anywhere. Those dots can. Those dots can still move around. But if you look at the grid itself, it has a lockup on it now. It's not going to go anywhere. So that's how you can bring something to the stage and have it stay there um, and not move. So the library has all sorts of things. Um, you can search through it. You can pick menus and folders and look through that way. Generally speaking, the best method is to uh, 
search at the top and try a few different terms if it doesn't find what you're looking for. Um, but it is pretty uh, full featured and uh, very useful kind of for on the spot stuff. Again, if you want to go outside the software, you can use the screen capture tool to bring in any picture that you want by snapping a picture um, and bringing it to, this, to the main stage. And that can include things like grid paper that you want if it's better than what you find in here or um, different maps that you might have found somewhere else that might be more specific to what you're trying to do. Um, but, it, but it does allow you then to use anything you want on the screen as um, a background or a picture you're going to interact with. And if you do a picture from outside, you can put it into this folder called My Content. And then if you click on My Content, it will have all your pictures that you've brought into the gallery separate from the ones that have been put in by the, uh, the program developers.